Uh, so we'll start with the demo. So you need to visit our website uh, www.protoexpress.com. So here, uh, top you'll find designers tools, and inside designers tools, you'll find a PCB stack up designer. You need to click on it. So you'll be forwarded to the landing page of a PCB stack up designer. This page contains information regarding stack up designer. So to open the tool, you need to click on this button. You'll be forwarded to the tool. Right now, I was not logged into the website, so I was forwarded to the login page. Uh, if, you have, if you have a username, password, you I can enter it and log in. You'll be forwarded to the tool. If you are not a member, you can create an account. It's very easy. You, you need to provide a username, password, first name, uh, etc. And you can create your account. So uh, once you are signed in, you can log in and you need to enter username, password and log in to our website. And you'll be forwarded to the stack up designer. So this is the front page of our stack up designer. Uh, firstly, you need to give some of some board information, say like a project name, uh, revision number, PCB size, target PCB thickness, PCB material, PCB type. So uh, let's fill this in. I'll say demo or uh, revision A, say PCB size 2 by 2. Uh, you need to select a target PCB thickness. So using this drop down, well, we have given you some standard thicknesses to choose from. So you can choose the thickness which for your application. So I'll go with uh, 0 0.062 inches. So using this drop down, you need to select the material which will be used for your stack up. So we have a list of material which covers a wide range of applications. So you can choose the one uh, which is which you require. If you want to see the material properties, you need to click on this material selector compare guide and it will open a pop up. So in this pop up, you'll have the list of the materials, the manufacturer, you can click on this view button and it will open the material properties. Uh, you can select multiple prop multiple materials and click on the compare button. So you can compare the materials. Uh, so Close, we can close that uh, and you can select the material which you wish to use. Uh, you need to select the PCB type. So we have only rigid right now. So you need to select rigid. Once everything is filled and the board information, the next section will come. And this is the approach that you want to take to design your stack up. So there are two options here. One is where you know the number of layers which are required in the design. And the second option is when you have a complex PGA and you don't know uh, what will be the number of layers that will be required in the design. So the complex BGA, it dictates what kind of, uh, what kind of uh, stack up you will have to use. So we have two options. So firstly, we'll go with the first option where uh, you know the number of layers which are required in the design. So you need to click, select this option, tick mark. The next section will come. And in this section, you need to give layer count and the signal plane combination. So firstly, using this drop down, you can select the number of layers which are present in your design, uh, six layer, eight layer, 10 layer, etc. So I'll select eight layer. Uh, and using this drop down, you need to give the signal plane combination. Uh, as I've selected eight layer board, uh, I have two options. Either I can go with a four signal, four plane or five signal, three plane. So I'll choose four signal, six, four plane here. Once all the data is filled, you can click on run stack up designer and it will generate the recommended solutions. So you'll have a list of options. 
stack of options given in this table. Uh, so this table have information regarding each option. So first is the total number of layers. You have the signal layers, number of plane layers. So this data is what you have selected above. So we have selected eight layer, four signal, four plane. So this will be same. Then we have a HDI standard column. So this column, uh, HDI or standard is defined by the vias that are possible in the stack up. So a HDI stack up can only have a through hole via. Sorry, a standard stack up can only have a through hole via. A HDI stack up allows for through hole via as well as a micro via. This number in front of HDI, it represents the number of sequential laminations that are present in that stack up. So sequential lamination will allow you to have a blind or buried vias. So you, as per your application or your need, you can choose any uh, one of these. If you want to know more about uh, this, you can click on this help icon and it will open up this pop-up. It will give you some details about what standard is or HDI zero is. So you can see this is the standard stack up. There's only through hole via. HDI zero is similar to a standard stack up, except there is a, it allows additional blind VRs. HDI one, the one represents the additional sequential lamination, or uh, etc. So this table will have the details regarding HDI and a reference image. So you can go through this. 